be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a little different. I know I said that probably in the beginning of all my videos, but I'm not cleaning anything today. I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys for a while. Today's Thursday, so I'm doing this to post tomorrow. And um, I'm still not 100%. Um, my back still hurts from the procedure. Um, and then I developed a cold, so I'm like congested and um, my body hurts. I don't know if that's part of what I have or what's going on. Um, I did call the doctor and ask for some um, like sinus infection medicine and they said they'd call it in. So I'm just waiting for that to come in. Um, today, when I got up this morning, my plan was to clean my living room, um, but I'm, I'm not able to get to it. Um, but my living room does need to be cleaned. Um, I want to dust my chair rail, my fireplace, my tables, my piano behind me. Everything needs to be dusted. Um, and I just can't do it today. I've got baskets of clothes in my bedroom that need to be put away. They're washed, dried, and folded, and they're just sitting in the basket. Um, they need to be put away, and I just, I can't do it. Um, the past three days, I can feel it very, I, I can feel it like a little smidge, but the past three days I've had a really bad migraine and I've taken my pain medicine and it didn't touch it. And this is like the first time my pain medicine has not touched my migraine. Um, I take a shot once a month that is a preventative and then I have medication to take when, as, as it starts to happen. So um, I took one of those, it didn't work. So I took something stronger that's actually for my back, but I can take it for migraines too. That didn't work. Um, I don't know if, if y'all have seen my previous videos where I've, I was cleaning out my drawers and I showed you my dressers and I showed you that I have um, like a migraine cap. Um, I, I wore that yesterday. Um, and this is why my kids are at school and I have all the lights turned out. I have curtains closed. I have lamp on now because it's okay, but I kind of feel it. I feel it turning in there. It's getting, it's to where it's, it's probably going to come on. Um, but I did a video, um, about a month or so ago. I organized my drawer and I showed you guys my migraine cap. Um, which you can get it off of Amazon. Um, you just Google or search migraine cap and they'll have them. Um, that, we put it in the fridge and I put that on and that, that kind of soothed things a little bit. I diffused um, lavender and Panaway and that helped me relax um, and I actually dozed off in this chair. It reclines all the way back so I was able to lay down and doze off a little bit. Um, and that was nice. Um, I think everyone should be able to have the opportunity for a mid-afternoon nap. I think that would help us as, as humans um, be more successful in our days if we all had the opportunity to just, and I'm not talking about a long nap like a child. I'm talking like, you know, 30, 45 minute nap, it, like a power nap. I think that would help. And I also used this, it's an eye mask and it has little beads in it. And you could put this in the fridge or put it in the microwave. You would, it's got a zipper. So you would take the pack out that actually has the beads and you can put it in the microwave and warm it up. Um, or you could stick it in the fridge and cool it down. Um, I, when I have migraines, I prefer to have something cool on my forehead or over my eyes. So I stuck this in the fridge for a little bit. And so I had this on my eyes and then I had my migraine cap on. So I was, I was looking rough yesterday. My migraine got so bad yesterday that I actually had to call my brother to go and pick up my kids from school for me and bring them home. Thankfully, he lives really close. He's about a 15 minute drive from us and um, just in the next town over. So that was really, and then he ended up, um, he ended up going and getting dinner for everybody. He got Wendy's just for the kids. My husband and I, we ate something different. Um, I think I had a bowl of cereal and I'm not really sure what he had. Um, and it, you can tell by my voice, I'm still not 
feeling 100%. Um, it's in the 50s outside right now, and I am freezing. I have my fireplace going. It's set on 75. I don't have the heat on, but I do have the AC. Like, it's on AC, but the AC is not running. And we've had it on AC because it was getting, it was like 80 degrees, up to 80 degrees here in Georgia. So, in the town where I live, um, I know there's quite a few YouTube mamas that live in Georgia, and it depends on where you live, like North Georgia would be a lot colder, South Georgia would be a lot warmer. Um, I have a friend that lives in South Georgia about three hours from me, and it's always warmer down there than it is here where I'm at. Um, but I have been enjoying the warm weather. We uncovered our pool. It's not a big deal. It's not a big thing. It's is like maybe like eight feet around. Um, they say it was eight feet wide, but it doesn't. I don't know. It's a round pool. Um, I don't. I think it's maybe three feet deep. It's nothing. I just got it for the kids, for them to have something to do this summer. Um, we're gonna have to drain it and clean it out and fill it back up, but that'll be no problem. We don't have to. We don't have to you know, check chemicals and all that mess. Um, we have talked about putting in an in-ground pool, but just the cost of it, just the cost of it, because we would have to, like our yard, our backyard's not very big, um, and it's not flat. It's flat for a couple of feet, but then it goes up on a hill, and then it's flat up there. So um, we would have to pull all that dirt out to make it all flat and, um, you know, flat with our yard that's by the door. I think that it would be too much because not only would I want a pool, but, um, and not just, you know, just a square pool, but, you know, just a little bit of, make it a little nice, have some tiki, tiki lanterns or what do you call them? Tiki torches, just kind of have some lights around the pool and then um, some like lanterns, you know, I'd want it to look nice. Um, and then we would have to put a fence around it, which we plan on fencing this yard anyways, um, especially in the back because our property kind of runs weird because we own the lot that our house is on, but we also have a portion of another lot. So we just want to fence our entire, what we own. Um, just so that there'd be no, no questions. And in order to do that, we need to have a land surveyor or a surveyor person come out and take a look at our property and the records that is at the tax office. This is probably is not gonna be a very long video today um, because my voice is a little messed up right now. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling 100%, so even though my house needs to be cleaned, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I'm not feeling up to it. Um, my husband has been great. He's been great at cleaning up after the kids. Um, he's been great at cooking dinner because I haven't been, I haven't even been able to do that. Um, he's been great. This past weekend, he did all the laundry. Well, the kids did theirs, but he helped them. Um, that's the difference between him and I. When the kids are at school, I'll usually do their laundry and I'll wash it and dry it and fold it and then I'll lay it on their beds and they'll put it all away. Um, but he, he makes them basically do everything. Like, um, he'll put it in the washer and put soap in it. Or maybe they'll put it in the washer and then he'll put soap in it. And then when it's done, he'll get them to put it, to change it over from the washer to the dryer. Y'all, I'm sorry about my voice. I didn't realize how bad it sounded until I got on here and started talking to y'all. Um, sound like a 95 year old man today. <clears throat> and I'm drinking water and Gatorade over here. And I think in a few minutes, um, because I've been like a little upset to my stomach too. So I think once I finish this vlog, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna go get me a Sprite. I've got some Sprite in my bedroom. Um, so, the last video that I did, I was cleaning and organizing my bedroom, and my bedroom, for the most part, is still clean. It's just cluttered. My new desk has just so much stuff on it. I need to pull some stuff out of there and do something else with it. Um, 
But in that video, there was, I had um, done a little, a little part where I had organized this three, three, three shelf organizer on wheels. Um, it's something that I had gotten off of Amazon. And um, on the bottom I'd put, I, on video I'd put, you know, Gatorade and Sprite up there. I just wanted to let y'all know that the reason that I have my Gatorade and Sprite in my bedroom is because there's not enough room for my stuff in the laundry room to be stored on those shelves. So I just, and the other, the other shelves that are above my washer dryer, they're just too tall. It's, especially with everything that's going on with my back, it's just too, too hard for me to reach up like that and grab a Gatorade or a Sprite each time I want one. It's just easier for me to keep it in my bedroom. Now, if my kids want a Sprite, I do give them a Sprite. Um, but I do not allow my children to, to drink a lot of soda, hardly any soda at all. Um, especially Seth, because we are having issues with his weight right now. Um, and his weight has been fluctuating. So I'm trying to get him to eat healthier. We're all actually eating healthier. Um, I'm down, I'm down like six pounds now. Yeah, because I went, because I lost 11, and then I gained, and then I gained six, and then I lost six again. So, <laughs> I told you guys, my my weight fluctuates like crazy. So, um, I make a 10-pound goal each time I lose significant weight. So, I'm like under that 10th that tenth mark. So, now um, my goal is to lose 10 more. And then once I hit that, my new goal will be 10 more. So it's easier for me to kind of give those kind of short goals in spurts for me. Um, then I find myself succeeding more when my goals are small like that. So not sure if I told you guys that I'm having problems sleeping, but I'm having crazy problems sleeping. Seth's weight has been a little fidgety like that too. He'll lose some and then he'll gain some. Um, but right now we're, of course we're focused on his weight, but I think we're a little more focused on his asthma. Um, took him to his pulmonologist last week, I think it was. And they, um, they make you blow and then inhale and then blow to test the strength of your inhale and your exhale. And he did not do good. Um, I don't know how this works, but the machine, they said um, they said a good person with asthma that's controlled would blow between two and five, um, which is good. And he blew on a scale on 49. So um, seeing that two to five is good and he did 49, there's something, there's something going on there. So, um, they put him on a new inhaler and I think a lot of his weight issues, what I know a lot of his weight issue is because he's on steroids and I have to take steroids every so often too. And it makes me hungry. I try not to eat, but it, I mean, I eat three meals, but it does make you hungry. So, um, we try to control how much of that he takes and um, his other asthmatic medicine doesn't really, I don't think it really affects him. Um, it's just the steroid inhaler that he takes. Um, but I'm glad that we were, I'm glad that I got him checked out by his pulmonologist. I did not realize that it had gotten that bad. Um, I know he does have he sounds wheezy a lot more than he doesn't, and now is is a bad uh, is a bad time period because of all the pollen and it's allergy season and he has allergies. He's allergic to he's allergic to pollen, ragweed, trees, grass, uh, dogs, cats, um, ferns. What else? He, I mean, he's allergic to everything. You know, we I thought about putting him in a bubble because he's allergic to everything, but. Um, I just have to, we just have to stay on top of him to take his medication and um, just pray that that works for him. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. My throat is starting to feel a little bit more scratchy and I think it's because I keep talking. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and 
get my Sprite because my stomach is kind of, I told you guys, I'm not 100%. I, I don't know what's going on, but my whole body hurts, like it aches. Um, I feel my migraine trying to come back again. And that's the problem, like with my migraines, they la like, I'll get it and it'll last for three or four days. And, and no matter how much medication I take. So I just have to be careful because one medication is an opioid. So I want to be careful with that. Um, but my stomach, you know, I'm upset to my stomach. So I want to take, I want to drink that Sprite to see if that'll help kind of calm it down. So with all of that said, I hope I didn't bore you guys to death. Um, I appreciate you joining me today and kind of hanging out with me. I'm sorry I didn't do my normal cleaning video. I just am not up to it. And I have left, I've put posts out on Instagram Monday and Wednesday, letting you guys know that I was not going to post a video. And today I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to kind of leave something with you guys. I apologize that this is not a cleaning video. Um, I really did not have it in me to clean today and I wanted to, um, make sure that my face is on YouTube at least one day this week. Um, I can't remember if I put a video out on Monday or not, but I made sure to let you guys know on, uh, Instagram. So if you're not, um, following me on Instagram, be sure to follow the, the, um, the handle below um and that will take you to my instagram page and um be sure to follow and i'll uh, normally i'll follow people back um unless it unless i know it's it's spam but um about 98 percent of the time i follow people back and um that's how i communicate i am not uh, monetized on youtube yet so i cannot put any post anything on the communications tab um every every bit of communication that comes from me is posted on instagram so again please be sure to follow me on instagram for my weekly updates um also if you like this kind of videos even if you don't leave me a comment below i love hearing from you guys i love chatting with you in the comments and um please consider subscribing i do normally do cleaning videos my usual post time is monday wednesday friday at 9 a.m uh, eastern standard time um again this week's video or today's video Last week and this week has been has been hard for me, and um, today's video is is a little bit different um, because I'm just sitting here kind of talking to you guys, and um, I apologize if I bored you to death. I hope that you did stick with me um, through the whole video. If not, it's okay. I understand, but I would still love for you to subscribe. I do normally make cleaning videos, and I think that you would really love my content, and be sure to click that notification bell to be notified each time I upload, and also consider giving my video a thumbs up. It really helps out our videos. Um, so with that said, I hope everyone has a lovely weekend and I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and I will hopefully see you guys on Monday.